Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a very, very exciting video. And this is obviously, as you can tell, the what I got for Christmas video. And I'm so excited to film this because I did receive some really incredible things for Christmas. And also, disclaimer, I am not bragging in any way, shape or form. I will also be the first one to say that I have been well and truly spoiled this year. I did not expect even half of this stuff. This is just far too much. I looked at everything and I was like, what has everybody done? This is too much. Um, but I'm so incredibly thankful for everything. And I still wanted to show you because I love watching these types of videos and I know a lot of you guys do too. So that's why I'm here filming it today. Got some boxes. <laughs> so one thing that I always get for Christmas, even though I'm 22 and I don't do them anywhere near as much as I used to when I was younger, is always a Disney chick so um, I will do it I will definitely make sure that I complete it um, but yeah it's just a Disney chick so and I will do that soon that's, that's my first present I also got two games the first one is also Disney themed this is Pictopia so Disney Pictopia and we've actually played this a few times already and it's really really fun it's not like a lot of Disney kind of trivia games where the questions are so incredibly easy if you've watched the films like at least twice um, especially if you've watched them like 2,000 times like me um, but there's some questions that are a little bit harder some characters that I don't really know a lot about and there's also questions that relate to the person asking the question or the players if you have it you'll know um but it's actually really really fun and i would really recommend getting this regardless of what age you are if you love disney you will love this game i also got the game logo billionaire and i mainly wanted this because i like guessing logos of things it has nothing to do with that but i just thought logos um, and we tried playing this yesterday and it failed miserably I think I don't know if we were playing it right but it was really complicated we were playing the beginner level and it was still overly complicated and it didn't really go anywhere so I don't know if we're playing it wrong I'm gonna have to check online but yeah I got this and we'll just have to keep on trying at this because it's not working right now I also got a big throw which I'm actually just gonna use as a blanket it's just from Primark, so pretty inexpensive. I know I was getting this and I really, really like it. It's so, so soft. Um, but I wanted this because then I can keep it downstairs and I can just keep cozy when I'm all cold and cold downstairs. I also got some clothes as well. The first piece of clothing that I'm going to show you, I'm sitting on. Um, <laughs> it's this shirt right here. It's not gonna show up very well, is it? Um, it's like a mustardy kind of colour and it's just checkered. Um, my nan didn't take the price off but I bought it anyway so it doesn't matter. And it's just like an oversized kind of checkered shirt. I love checkered shirts and it's from New Look so I will get a lot of use out of that. I also got a big oversized scarf. This one is from ASOS and it's just a humongous scarf. And I just love really really chunky scarves when it gets a lot colder. Today it's been freezing so I should have really pulled this out. Um, but I just love it. I think it's going to look really, really cute with a lot of coats and jackets and jumpers and tops and dresses and places. No, I'm getting overboard. I also got this like plummy purpley coloured jumper. It's like a really thin jumper or like a long sleeve knitted top. Um, it's just plain, high necked, quite loose and flowy. Um, but it was really inexpensive when we got it. So I was just like, we'll get it for you. And I just think it's an absolutely gorgeous colour as well. So that's from H&M and I love that. And then the final piece of like proper clothing, I guess, is this jumper here. And it's just like a greyish, kind of like off-white grey colour. Um, high neck again, but not too like, bleh. and it's not too thick as well. The neck is like the thickest part of it, but the rest of it is relatively thin. Like it's still gonna keep me warm. Well, it still keeps me warm. I've worn this a couple of times and I love it. Um, but it's still thin enough that it doesn't make me feel stuffy and warm. Um, and this is from New Look and I just think it's adorable. I also got two sets of pyjamas. The first set are these ones here and these are like dogs 
Whatever. So this is kind of like a beigey kind of brown, I guess. Um, and it just has dogs all over it. It's so, so soft. And I desperately needed a new pair of pajamas that were like longer. Um, because I do have one pair, but they're kind of like fraying and the buttons are coming off. They're just falling apart basically. So I need to get rid of those. So I desperately needed a new pair and I'm very, very excited to wear these. I've been holding off wearing my new pajamas because I wanted to film this video, but I can wear these tonight now. The other pair that I got are bunny pajamas. Um, I love bunnies, I have two bunnies. Um, so these are the bottoms. They're just like gray bunnies all over them and then they have a bit of like teal like on the bow and little teal hearts all around them. I like these style of pajamas. The top is just a big old bunny with little cute ears and little cute face. I love bunnies so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a bunny and who doesn't love bunnies? Don't tell me you hate bunnies because I love I also got a pair, not a pair of socks, a packet of socks, um, a packet of Christmas socks. I think these are super, super cute, different colors and all Christmas themed. And I did get underwear as well, but I'm not gonna show you those. So I also got a pillow for Christmas as well. And this has my initial on it, an E. And for anyone who doesn't know, my real name is not Lizzie, it's Elizabeth, um, but don't call me that. I prefer getting E when I have initial things. Um, but I do have the option, do I want E, do I want L, I prefer E, but I don't want to be called Elizabeth. I'm really weird. Um, but I like just having a little pillow and it's going to sit on my bed and it's going to look so cute. And I also ended up getting a mug with the exact same initial on it. And the funny thing is, my parents bought me the pillow, but my aunt and uncle bought me the mug. They didn't have any idea, I don't think they did anyway, that they were buying the initial things and they both ended up with the same like initial. I also got a travel documents holder. I saw this in Debenhams and I really, really liked it. It's just plain black, um, but then you open it and if I can open it, it just has like little slots for like cards and then spending money, documents, tickets, passport, pen, change. I just think this is gonna be a really nice thing to have when I go on holiday next year because I do have something booked. This is just gonna be really, really handy to have and to keep everything all in one place. I've just realized I've got a present, well, some presents up there. Be right back. So that present that I just went and got is this jewelry holder. I think it's so, so cute. So you can put like rings in the little dish. You can even hang like rings or bracelets or like, you can really hang earrings off. Um, off like these little hooks and then it has these two birds. I just think it's absolutely adorable and this is gonna just look incredibly cute. I mean, it's, it already looks incredibly cute. Uh, I'm gonna put it back so it adds a little bit of pizzazz to the video. It doesn't, but it, that corner looks empty now. I also got a Tangle Teaser for Christmas as well. I do actually have a Tangle Teaser already, um, but it doesn't hurt to have another one. And this is for thick, wavy and afro hair. I don't have afro hair. My hair is pretty straight, as you can tell. This is not straightened or it's just brushed um, because I'm so lazy. Um, I do have slightly wavy hair sometimes, but my hair is so incredibly thick. So this will hopefully be even better than my other one. We'll see. I also got a couple of things which are from one of the gift sections in WH Smith. So the first thing is this little note thing. So it's just like, a, not a sticky note, just like a note holder. So it's a little box and that has a bow and then inside it are little, little notes to write on. I just think that's really cute and really handy to have as well. And then the other thing I got was this makeup bag. So it's like, that is rose gold. That is definitely rose gold. Um, and then it says beautiful things. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love how it shines and it's just so pretty. I have enough makeup bags, but this one I just couldn't resist because it's so beautiful and I love the color as well. Going back to monogram stuff, I think everyone thinks I want monogram stuff this year, um, but my mom and dad ended up getting me some monogrammed towels. So this is a hand towel with an E on it and this is just a normal bath towel. So I have my own towels now. I'm really growing up. You know you're growing up when you get your own towels for Christmas. I also got this jar here and I'm actually gonna use this to hold all of my brushes in. I think it would be really nice on like the side just to kind of keep them all there and to just find them more easily because they're in a makeup bag at the moment and I have to pour them all out or dig through them. Um, this will just be nice to have them all out and all there 
for my own disposal. Sorry if the quality is like really bad. It's getting darker. It was really nice and light when I first came home and then it got dark and my battery died, blah, blah, blah. Um, it might be a bit fuzzy, I don't know, but I just had to adjust it because it was getting too dark. I then got a set from French Connection. This is the Little Things Mean A Lot set. So they're all in this box and it comes with a body polish, a mini body butter, a mini body wash and a mini body spray and a body puff. Um, I think my mum wants a body puff, I never use body puffs. Um, but I'm excited to give these a go. I'm getting more into like skincare and bath and shower and those sort of things. So I'm excited to try this out and see how it is. I also got one piece, piece it's not really a piece because there's multiple things in here, but I got one bit of jewelry. Um, so I got these rings here. These are actually from Peacocks um, and there are five rings in there, different ones, gold. I wear gold all the time, mainly like 80% of the time I wear gold. Um, but yeah, I just thought these were really, really cute. They're in the large ring finger size because I have big fingers. Um, <laughs> but I really like getting rings and I needed more rings because I haven't bought rings in so long. To be fair, I probably don't need more rings, but they were cheap from what I remember. I also got some CDs and DVDs. As I say in like every one of these kinds of videos, I like getting the physical copies of DVDs and CDs. Um, so the CDs that I got are Little Mix's Glory Days and One Republic, Oh My My. And these are actually my two favorite group slash bands. I absolutely love these. And then the DVDs that I got are these ones here. So I got The Legend of Tarzan, which I hadn't seen until I watched it two days ago. It's amazing. I really, really like that. Dirty Grandpa because Zac Efron. At Any Price, which is actually quite an old one, but I hadn't seen it. And Zac Efron. <laughs> Um, Daddy's Home, Me Before You, which if you love like Nicholas Sparks kind of films or you like really emotional like dramas, um, you're gonna cry at that, but it's really good. Um, and obviously I had to get Finding Dory, because Dory is the best. I also got a ring dish. This is actually from ASOS, I know, because I got it before. Um, it says hello sunshine in a little speech bubble and I just think it's gonna be really, really cute to just pop a few rings on there. I also ended up getting a bunch of Sum Sums. Um, so I'm just gonna go through these individually. So I got Chip from Beauty and the Beast, Bambi, Simba, Little Simba, Big Simba, The Beast, Pascal, which I'm obsessed with, and Olaf. So yeah. My sister got me five of those and my parents got me two of those. Um, but I love collecting some sums and those are some of the ones that I really, really wanted. And I get a lot of mine, well like the older collections from Clinton's because they sell them there. They're not the Disney authentic ones, but they're close enough for someone who's missed out on a lot of them. And this year I didn't end up asking for any makeup. I don't know, I just, I, there wasn't anything that I particularly wanted, but I did end up getting a bunch of lip products. Um, lip products are my favourite, so there we go. Um, the first one that I actually opened was the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick Birthday Set. This one here, and it comes with the little liquid lipstick. So it has like Candy K, Dolce K, Coco K, Kristen, Leo, and Exposed. Those are the ones that are in it and I'm excited to give these a go and see what they're actually like. I also ended up getting two Tanya Bear lip glosses. So this is the It's Kissmas set and it comes with a pink and a red. So the shades Candy Cane and Berry Pavlova. I'm excited to try those out. I do like Tanya Bear lip glosses. I only have two or one. Either way, I really like Tiny Fur lip glosses, so I'm happy to have a couple more in my collection. And the last lip product that I got is from Clinique, and this is one of their Clinique Pop Lip Colour and Primers. And I do have one, like a little mini one of these, that I have been raving about, honestly, all of December. And so when I opened this and I saw it was the same, like, make, the same, well, same brand, same type of lipstick from that brand, I was really, really happy. And this is in the shade Party Pop and it's just this gorgeous kind of like bright pinky what's the name it reminds me 
of like you're going on holiday in the tropics and you want to pick out a lipstick to wear and this is the one you pick that's how I'm gonna describe it and now I'm down to my two final items and these are both food related the first one that I got is this gingerbread house kit um, I'm very excited to make this I feel like I should make this in like the next day or two because obviously it's very Christmassy and if I make this in like May it's not gonna be Christmas um, but I love these kind of things so I might actually give this a go this week um, and it comes with a little gingerbread cutter which I can keep forever and then I can eat all the gingies and then the final present final food related present and the final present of this video is this so this is a popcorn set and I love popcorn. Popcorn is like one of my favourites. Um, so it comes with a bunch of like popcorn kernels in this big box. And then it has two silver buckets, which I just think are really, really cute as well. Even if I don't use those for popcorn, which I probably will just for these, um, but I can use them for other things like in my room, for like decor, or blog photos. Um, and then it has two boxes up here. So sweet and salty. I am a salty person. I much prefer salted popcorn to sweet. Butter is my preferred choice, but out of sweet and salted, salted is my go-to choice. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to pop some of those kernels and see how this tastes. So those were all of the things that I received for this Christmas. I am so, so thankful for absolutely everything. I did not need all of that at all, um, but I'm so incredibly thankful and I'm gonna use every single product. I love every single product. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you have not done so already. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you got for Christmas, what your favorite gift was, or what you've been buying other people because that's really interesting to hear as well. It's always good to give. So I hope you all have an incredible day and an incredible new year because that's nearly here. Um, <laughs> So yeah, have an incredible day and I will see you on my next video. Bye.